I, I get that they're cool looking, yeah, but I don't know I don't if I would be it, no. fighting to get one. <laughs> well, coming up next on 12 Weekend Today, last minute gift ideas for the car lover in your life. And if you still have some left on your shopping list, well, maybe you need some help determining exactly what to get for those left on your list. Joining us now, though, this guy right here. Jim Gardner with NARPRO with the gift ideas for the car lovers on your list. Now, I feel like a lot of times you don't know what to get, like a guy who's, you know, like the man's man, likes to work on cars, likes to work on the house, things like that. So help us out this morning. <laughs> what? You don't necessarily have to be a man's man. I mean, everybody could appreciate a new stereo for the that's car. True, for sure, that's right? true, that's true, yeah. that's true. Or if you don't have Bluetooth hands-free, you can get an adapter so that you can go hands-free when you're driving down the road. It's always important. Very good. How about a backup camera? These, so I see, yeah. I didn't even know. So you can get these. I know a lot of cars nowadays, they come with what my car doesn't have, my mom's does, and you realize how convenient they yeah. are when you're in someone else's car that actually has it. So you can just get this installed like separately, or how does it work? Yeah, it, um, it'll wire into your car. It can have different size screens. They have different cameras that you can use. I mean, there's some really cheap ones that would be hard to see and some really expensive ones that are hard to afford. And how much but, does something like that one run? Uh, this one's about $150. So really not that bad when you're thinking about safety, you know, you just install it and then you get the, you get the camera, you get the LCD screen, but of course, illuminations also fairly <laughs> important here. This is my personal favorite. I have to admit, I love flashlights for some reason. Lights are great. You would, Matt. I, It's just weird. <laughs> this time of year you hear about people that get stuck Matt's in the weird. snow, they go up north and their car, you know, it dies. They try and leave the headlights on so you can see it. Something like this is really handy. It does have a rechargeable battery and you can plug it in the cigarette lighter but it won't drain anywhere near the power, plus you can aim it where you want it to be. Oh, wow, that's So cool. having one of these in your car is excellent. And one of these I've, I've thought about getting, even like when we're working, because we do a lot on the road, but then I thought just for convenience sake, a lot of our cars have them here for the news station, but I thought this would be good for just having your car in it alone or yourself. That is one of my favorite things, is that you, this, this has enough battery power to start your car, plus it has a light, and you can charge your cell phone on it. Wow. So, they, these are really handy. If you don't know anybody who doesn't have one, perfect Christmas. I just saw somebody in the parking lot yesterday, <laughs> actually, with their car because their battery died and AAA was pulling up. So that right there could get you enough power to at least maybe get somewhere, get off the road, or get to a, a, a repair shop or something like that. Yeah, most, most cars don't need any more power than what's available in that. If you have a diesel, you probably need a bigger one. But uh, that that is a very handy thing to have in your car. And how much is this one? Uh, that one, I think, was like $79. Oh, that's Which, not bad yeah, for a power supply yeah, at all. Not at all. <laughs> but now there's this thing. I even asked you, what is this? This is kind of a cool device that we have here. Right. This is an example of a dongle. You can get different ones that do different things. This one will track uh, your maintenance history, like if your check engine light comes on, stuff like that. It communicates through your cell phone, so you connect to it. Um, it'd be good for a parent, and then they can know where their kid is most of the time because the cell phone will be communicating with them. And then how much does one of those cost? Because it seems like it does a lot. That one was like $69. Oh. Since, since it's Bluetooth, wow. they're relatively inexpensive. There's not a lot of technology in it. And hooking it up, I mean, any kid that can put an app on a cell phone can put that well, in. Well, a lot of parents oh, right now are thinking, yeah. I want to keep track of my kid, and the kid's thinking, I don't and want kids? my parent to hear about that. Hear that? That's in your car. <laughs> Could be. And you have to go up, Matt, you have to sense its way down there. Yeah, yeah, so then we have a bunch of different accessories. Just run through those. Oh, th these are just things that you can throw in the stocking. You know, um, these kind of lights are really great to have if you get stuck on the side of the road. At least hang them on yourself so cars can see you. Um, different car phone chargers. This one you can charge three different phones. Oh, no, that's convenient because a lot of the times, you know, the one friend's in the car, and then your car, your battery goes dead, and then somebody else. That's yeah, good. Yeah, I have two boys. The number of times that three, four people need to charge, it's amazing. And then finally, what's this here? These are just um, fuses. You can get these. It, it's multiple different sizes, so if you blow a fuse in your car, you have this, and you can just pop it in. Wow. There so you not go. too expensive. You can put these things in your car, be safe in an emergency, and also they're just convenient, like the Bluetooth, the charge. They're just yeah. convenient for anyone to have. Absolutely. And then one of my favorites is a detail. Of Everybody course. likes to have their yes. car detailed. That is uh, on someone's one list to be this a year for me. Detailer, <laughs> you can get a certificate just about anywhere to get. Lots of kudos from your family if you get them a while. I think I'm taking that one, Monique. <laughs> no, actually, that, I, I am one. getting someone to detail this here. You won't know who you are, but you are getting oh. one. Well, thanks, Jim. Thanks for joining us. You always have some great ideas. Yeah. And website they can go to to find any information on you guys? Narpro.com. Perfect. Perfect.